Well, hello there, everybody. We're going to play some music today. We're going to have some funky beats for you to play on anything you can find. We're going to start out with playing some rhythms on our bodies, and then we're going to use some things you'll find around your kitchen, such as pots and pans and spoons. So first of all, I want to make sure that you're all awake. So could everyone please put your hands out like this? Okay. Everyone's got their hands out because I'm going to clap my hands and I want you all to clap at exactly the same time as I clap my hands. But you don't know when I'm going to clap my hands. You're going to have to use your powers of mind reading, your incredibly quick reactions or your fast eyes. So watch very carefully. When my hands clap, you clap. Oh, a couple of sleepy heads out there. This time, I want you all to clap exactly the same time. Not before. Not after exactly the same time. Are you ready? Oh, fantastic. I can hear that here. Now, so we've got good reactions. That's very important about playing music. The next thing I want to do, we need a little rhythm. And basically, it's very important. We have so many people listening to this and playing along with us. Now, you might be on your own. You might be with your family. But what we're all going to do is going to tap in time with our feet. We're just going to do this. It's very complicated. It goes like this. One, Excellent. Now keep going. Three, four. Because I'm going to add in a clap on number three. Are you ready? So it goes like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But of course, that's all very simple. We're now going to get a little bit funky. That's right, because we're playing music and music makes you dance. So we're going to add this extra little element in which is, we're going to say it in Irish, the same thing. Now, if you don't speak any Irish, there's only four words. It goes a hain, a do, a three, a cahar. A hain, a do, a three, a cahar. So watch what happens when you suddenly tap in Irish. It suddenly gets a little bit funky for some reason. I don't know why, it just does. So I want you all to get funky. And it goes, a hain, a do, a three, a cahar. A hain, a do, a three, a cahar. A hain, a do. A three, a car. Excellent. Now, to make things even more complicated, remember what we did. We're going to clap on number three, ever a three in Irish. So it goes like this. Remember, keep it funky. I ain't a do, a three, a car. I ain't a do, a three, a car. Excellent. Now, we are ready to play music. We're going to tune up our bodies. So I want everyone to do this on their chest and listen to the sound it makes. Now copy me. We're going to do it on our legs now. Now back to our chest. Now on our cheeks. Now our hands. Now our feet. So now it's time for a little bit of hip hop. And this is a little hip hop. It's the oldest rap in the world, written about 400 years ago by a small fellow with a big head. And his name was Humpty Dumpty. But Humpty Dumpty had a brother. His name was Dumpty Humpty. And Dumpty Humpty was a totally different guy. Well, Humpty Dumpty was quite shy. Dumpty Humpty wasn't. Dumpty Humpty had a lot of attitude. So we're going to do this little hip hop, but we need to start off by just doing this. This helps for some reason. Helps the music. Okay. Now copy me, do this. I. Ready? I. Okay, excellent. Now we've got attitude. So we're doing Dumpty Humpty. Because normally you might hear Humpty Dumpty like, Humpty Dumpty said no more, I want me mammy. We're not doing that version. We're doing the hip hop Dumpty Humpty version, which goes like this Dumpty Humpty set on the wall. Dumpty Humpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. You got the idea? Okay, here we go. We're starting off by doing the little beat, the little hip hop beat. It goes boom, boom, clap, boom, 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 clap, a boom, boom, clap, boom, boom, clap, boom, boom, clap, boom, 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 boom. Now are you ready? Whenever I say who's in the house, you say. 
Dumpty's in the house. So I go, who's in the house? Dumpty's in the house. I said, who's in the house? A Dumpty's in the house. I said, who's in the house? A Dumpty's in the house. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, we got this going. Everyone, I hope everyone at home is doing this. Loads of attitude. We're gonna do Dumpty Humpty in a Dumpty Humpty style. Ready? Here we go. Dumpty Humpty sat on the wall. Dumpty Humpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men. I couldn't put Dumpty together again. Who's in the house? Dumpty's in the house. Who's in the house? A Dumpty's in the house. Who's in the house? A Dumpty's in the house. Right, here we go. One more time. Here we go with Dumpty Humpty. Dumpty Humpty sat on the wall. A Dumpty Humpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men. I couldn't put Dumpty together again. So now, of course, we're going to start playing our rhythm using whatever we find around the house, around the kitchen. For example, a cardboard box. And a cardboard box, you can hit it and it makes a sound. Because I could hit the box to be annoying, I could hit the box to be loud, I could hit the box to break it, but I don't want to do that. I want to make a nice sound. So whatever you hit, try and make a nice sound. I might try somewhere else in the box. Oh yeah, that's quite interesting. Wow, loads of sounds on that. So I think I'm going to use this sound. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, now let's see, what else have we got here? Okay, we have ah, a plastic tub. And a plastic tub, of course, is another instrument because everything's an instrument. As long as you like the sound of the sound you're making, it's music. So typically I could hit this, let's see, I'll use my little wooden spoon and listen to the sounds this makes. Oh, I like that one. That's a good sound. That's lower. Excellent. Okay, that's two sounds we've got. Hmm. Ha ha. A frying pan, of course. Let's make what sound this makes. Yeah, that's loud. Or. Or. I think I'll like that sound. Okay, then we have. Let me see. Ah. I found an old sweet box and I put some popcorn inside it just and it makes a sound like that so that can be a shaker but you can use anything that makes a shaky sound could be a, a bag of crisps you could shake a bag of crisps it makes a sound or anything you find so this one will go like this a one a two a three a four a one a two a three a four and that's a really good part of music that nice shaky sound now let me see Hmm. Oh yes, this looks good. This is a bit doingy, I think. That's a good sound. I'm going to use that sound. Yeah, definitely going to use that sound. I like that. So anything, look for different sounds anywhere you can find. They can be two pencils if you like, if they make a sound, or the, the table, if you want to hit the table as well, if you make a sound. This one, I'm looking for unusual sounds. Now this one could be a good one. This is from a cooker. And what I'm gonna do here is just scrape it. So I have, I have shaky sounds, scrapey sounds, doingy sounds. I have deep sounds. I have all the different sounds. Well, this is a scrapey one, it just goes like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, I think I have enough to build up a rhythm. So I think we'll start off with the bass sounds. They're the, 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 the first ones, and they go like this. Let's see, we'll use the, the box here, and this will go like this. Uh, so if you have something like this, take a wooden spoon and go one, two, three, four, one, two. So you're sort of hitting on the one and the three, right? So if you count to four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And what's good is if we do the opposite with the other sound on the box. So while that's going one, two, three, four, this is going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we have the two sounds will sound like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, tick, tock, tick. 
and that's the basis of the music that we're going to play. This is underneath the deep sounds going bim, bam, bim, bam, bim, bam. And we're going to put a load of other sounds on top of that. So, for example, I'll show you now. Put this down again. And with the scraper, we're going to count to four. And every time we say four, we go. So we'll go like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. Now let's see. Ah, I think we need a bit of a doing doing, and we'll use the doing doing, which will go every time we say two, we go doing doing. Okay, so it goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's a cool sound. Now we have, we'll use the now hopefully when we put all of this together. There'll be a beautiful sound going out through all the cavern and Monhan with fantastic rhythms and everyone dancing around their kitchens. That's the goal. So we're going to start off with the first rhythm, which let's see, we'll use the first rhythm. Oh yes, I'll remind you, just remember, this one goes like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, ready? Here we go. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to add in the other sound on this box. For the scrapey sound, you ready? Four on number four. the shaker. Sudden stop, you ready? One, two, three, four. I want everyone to do a massive drum roll. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Fantastic. Well done, everyone. Oh my gosh, that was a wonderful sound. Well, I hope to see you soon again. 
and play some music with you in real life as well. But that is amazing that I think all over Cavan and Monaghan there were children and adults playing great beats together. So anyway, thank you very much for participating and you've made a great day even better. <laughs>